Hello and welcome to Git and <laughs> let's try that again. Hello and welcome to use a Git and transform query to transpose values. My name's Jeff, and I'm glad that you're here. Lately, I've been on this kick of figuring out how to use Git and transform queries to do things that I used to do in a different way. And really, I've been loving this experience of using Git and transform queries to solve old problems in in a new way. And this in this video, we're going to talk about how to transpose values. A while back, I wrote a blog post that talks about three ways, three legacy old school ways to transpose values, including pay special, using some formulas, and using pivot tables. Uh, in this video, hey, what do you say we use a git and transform query instead? Step one is select any cell within the range or the entire range and go to data from table. Excel is going to ask us if we want to create a table, which we do, so we just click OK. All right, the values load up in our uh, query editor, and we get a little preview. And basically, we have this header row, and these are values that we need in the transposition. So step one is we need to kind of demote these headers and place it into the table as, uh, as values. So we're going to use the drop down and select use headers as first row. All right, now we have these values in, um, in the table. So we can go to the next step, which is to transpose. We go to the transform ribbon tab and click the transform ribbon icon. <laughs> and just like that, we're just about done. All right, and now we need to get this first row back up into the headers. Um, and so we're going to use first row as headers. <laughs> That's just about as easy as it is. Home, close and load, and the results table updates in Excel, and now we've got it. So in our original data source, we have regions in rows and items in columns, and now we have items in rows and regions in columns. But Jeff, that seems like more work than just doing a simple copy-paste special transpose. And if this was a one-time project, I'm totally on board with that. Let's just roll up our sleeves and just get her done manually if, if it needs to be. But if this is a recurring use kind of task where we're updating you know, some transactions every day, week, month, quarter, year, then the beauty of this approach comes in because next period, this transformation is a simple right-click and refresh and it's done. We don't even need to go back to the query editor. So this becomes a very efficient um, method for transposing values on a recurring basis. Love it. All right. Hey, um, post some comments below. If you have any other fun Git and Transform tricks, um, or if you've been using it as an alternative to some, some other methods for, for doing various things, I'd love to know. Share by posting a comment below. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.